Our first match is a lower bracket round one, best of three. Once again, we have a clash between South Korea and the Oceania region. Super cool to see. We haven't had that in a long time. So far, South Korea was superior in last week's qualifier. But how about today? How much practice did Dirtback get in? Uh, of course, no full pro player has a job on the side, etc. But it's about Rara Land. It's about the Arcadia World Series. So every single bit of time that you got will probably be put in to uh, practice here and we have our match on the road number one so in verse dirtbag we start off on very familiar ground concealed hill i feel like we've seen a ton of in this qualifier still a very balanced map and i think a very well designed map as well with the high ground the fifth base only thing i don't like about the map is the ogre lord pool but other than that absolutely Wonderful. Archmage opening and Fasty on the other side. That shouldn't surprise us too much. I'd say most orcs on this map try to go for a very fast tech, but someone is going to delay that one a bit. Alrighty. Interesting what the builds exactly are. Fast forward Burrow as well to help in a possible defense if uh, the Archmage decides to attack. Fasty, of course, the hero of choice, unfortunately. You, uh, of course, mention the creep in the middle. That's uh, a little flawed. But Remo, you cannot describe Concealed Hill without criticizing the damn arcs next to the shop. Please have them <laughs> removed. That is very important for the future of this game. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> how, have we, how have we lived for so long with these arcs? <laughs> the, the, the fact that we haven't thrown ourselves off a bridge, it's kind of marvelous. Honestly. Right? It shows you uh, the power of the human spirit. Thank you also for the power of you guys' uh, generosity. With more subs coming in. Kick Sprider, first time sub, welcome. And Yannis Haare, <laughs> gifting a sub. And KMS3D with the five gifted subs as well. You guys seem to be hungry for some Warcraft. And of course, we deliver. I see a little copy pasta here in chat. Spam this flag to support Dirt Bag. I like that. I like that very much, Pokey. So, how good is the arrest of Soen? And how good is the defense of Dirt Bag? Normally, a big upside on this map for humanists, you normally get level two very easily, very reliably. And this is an important asset. Dirtbag must make sure he gets it. The wolf stole it. Oh, oh no! In really insane start for Soen, who has, of course, a lot more tournament experience, might be uh, less nervous than Dirtbag is. And then oh you have God. such a start. It's another steal, right? The little turtle. Yeah. Also going to Soen. Oh, that's so bad. That is so bad. The wolves in the main might be able to get another kill. And now the Archmage, even if he gets the turtle, that's not level two. And the experience, the level up timings are so important, perhaps, especially in this matchup. And the fact that the AM is stuck now without mana on level one is so horrible. He needs to get a wolf. He needs to get a wolf kill. But Soen has the damage evenly distributed, resummons them. Oh man, this is nasty. And Dirtbag also, this footman going down. This is almost to level two Farsia without creeping a single camp. This is really bad. This is a catastrophic early game. A little bit of a pause here. Sometimes we're on Singapore server right now. We have a bit of spikes. Hopefully this is going to resolve itself. Ah, that oh gives boy. us time to thank uh, Baronessa for the 100 bits, thank you, and DD3 for the 21 month resub. You guys are very, very generous today. Thank you. So, in with a hot start here, he's got the faster tech, he's probably got the better units, unless we see defend coming. And he's got a good experience as well. Normally with his aggressive play, the Farseer is supposed to be far behind the Archmage, but clutch last hits. Really well done by Sowing with the Wolves. And definitely a bit of a mistake by Dirt back there. The way you're supposed to do it is leave the creep above kill threshold and then attack with everything at the same time and then secure the kill for yourself. Of course, uh, in high pressure situations like this one, it's hard to keep that all perfectly in mind always. That footy also goes down. Oh, it wasn't quite denied either. 
Now the Farce here might be the first to level two, which is outrageous. Yeah, Archmage doesn't look too good anymore. Same goes for the Farce here. Ooh, take care with these wolves. They're still hungry. 15 uh, HP. The Frog isn't blocking. Thank you, Critter, for that. Soen saves himself to the shop where he's still attacked by Footman. But man, what a stressful situation. Wakes up the creep now. Gotta run. 20. Can the wolves... Oh, okay, they will uh, expire in oh a second. My God. Oh, another footman! Well, if Dirtbag had any plans of playing aggressive at early tier 2, that's out the window. Oh my god, that's so bad. Level 1 Archmage versus level 2 Farseer, and he's so close, at least finally he has a water elemental again soon. A moment ago there, by the way, when the AM was getting chased by the wolves in the north, you saw how he went back into the wolves because he was attacking with the footies? Yeah. This is something we noticed previously last week already. Sometimes Dirtbag tries to attack targets with footmen, but the AM is still in the group. And the AM has movement bugs and also walks in. This is something you cannot allow. This is something Dirtbag has to look towards, this little micro adjustment, especially for the early game, especially when you play a squishy Archmage. You need to individually, individually control your units, not in the group. And these little missteps in the micro can put you far behind early. And now, so in such a strong position. He's trying to make grunts already. The TC is coming out. The Farseer is almost level 3. That is absolutely insane. Almost unheard of on this map. But yeah, um, it's tough. And that's how games can look like if you have a bad start. It all comes down to these turtles in the north. Or a lot of that comes down to the turtles in the north. But Dirtbag... Not keeping up the fight, uh, not uh, giving up the fight, is cancelling some heal selves here and there. Little statements, at least. Wolves can always easily chase the Archmage around. This is why you have to be so diligent with perfect movement and control in the early game. As the human against headhunters, like most races against headhunters, there's very little margin for error. And once you may start making a few mistakes, you can be on the back foot right away, which is exactly what happened here? At least the MK comes out now, so Dirtbag's gonna have some kill potential soon. But first he's gonna go creeping. And here the missing footmen are a bit of a problem. The creep speed isn't gonna be so sensational. Yeah, he's uh, also unable to tank with anything now that the water elemental is gone. Less than ideal for Dirtbag currently. But he's getting some rifles out. He gets the attack upgrade, Scroll of the Beast. That helps, of course, as there's limited dispel in... The Orc army. TC is already on the way to level 2. Keeps the Farsi away, so it's solo experience for the big cow. And Soen sends Token Raider into the base. Does he have pillage already? No, but almost. He's going for a super early pillage. This is unusual. This is interesting. This is a dead raider as well. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know if that's worth it. Hashtag uh, not worth it. The thing is, he is... Forcing the MK back and buying a lot of time, I guess you can make that argument. Uh-huh. Nice of uh, you. When we first move towards 50 supply, every single unit matters a lot, so... Raiders dead. Uh, well, fair enough. More Raiders are coming. And indeed, we saw an early pillage upgrade. And we saw early reinforced defenses. It seems like Soin is setting up for a lame kind of game already. Yeah. Lost a grunt at creeping, but I guess he just wants to replace grunts oh. with... Oh, what? Nope. I was about to say he wants to rotate out of grunts, but uh -uh, that's not the case. Ah, a little bit no of way. an oversight. I mean, grunts are very, very squishy, right? It's only 800 HP. It happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Um, slight mistakes here by Soen. You can make an argument for the raider. Maybe it was not a ter terrible move, but losing a grunt to creeps, that is not supposed to happen. Anyways, he got level 3 at least. And we got level 3 Farseer. This could be a strong timing to look for a fight right now for Soen. No, we're pretty good to have right here. Six more supply, but he is missing that indeed. He's gonna push into the human main base. And he really wants to force that fight here in a moment. Dirtbag probably gonna have to TP home, maybe. He's gonna he have wants... a big advantage of Militia here. He wants level 3 so bad, he gets us on, on the Archmage now. Oh my God. Needs a little bit more oh. for this Mountain King. That was a nice combo as we have shockwave instead of stomp so uh, yeah peasants falling rather quickly wow he's just gonna go all out lamo mode just chain wave combo and uh, hit the base over and over force the tp home once again one raider fell but the mk might be able to find more kills in the meantime expansion coming in the south this is pretty predictable with this kind of 
hit and run playstyle, there will normally be an expansion as well. But the MK can easily find a few kills here now. Right on. He has lots of mana. Gotta be a little careful. Illusions. Oh, that chain wave! Ooh, the damage is just nuts! Um, yep. Okay. Heal scrolls are advised. He has one. Didn't use them there. Of course, lots of things to do at the same time. This is stressful, and Hammer is falling. This is more losses for Soen. It's not as one-sided as uh, Dirtbag's first round match against Focus, where there was absolutely no chance. Yeah, the MK is very strong here on level 3, so is the Rifle Army. With Without Stomp, you can't win these fights. Shockwave, of course, great at taking out peasants, and especially great at taking out buildings. Shockwave, you know, it's a cone attack, sort of. And the specialty with Shockwave is the damage cap is really high, which means you can use it against a lot of targets like farms, like other buildings, and like peasants at the same time. It's not the greatest of spells, but especially for Lamo mode, it is pretty good. MK, though, on the chase. He went for the boots. I like that, trying to find these targets more easily. Soen is sacrificing a lot of units right now to buy the time for his expansion. Yeah, he's getting some reinforcements for basically free, but every Stormbolt is a killed unit. Slow comes into the mix. I like that. A little more catch in the human army. The expansion, not finished, not paying off, but slowly but steady. Dirtbag has to find an angle to attack it. And once again, Chainwave, this time not that great, but still super effective. Heal scroll used to save that raider, uh, that rifle. Oh, lost it. The last shot. And again, every single unit matters here, especially as we always keep losing units and try to get to that 50 supply. Good TP home by So in there, I'd say. Clarity running right away. TC close to four. And so is the Farseer close to four. And of course, there's no breakers here, so Wolves could still be very effective. Dirtbag starting to set up towers in the main base, but enough time was bought. Finally, the expansion is finishing here for So in, and that should be his win condition. That's the plan. I agree. And now we gotta ask ourselves does Dirtbag know about this? He had some illusions. He had a footman down there as well, but I'm not 100% sure. Very good item, of course. Plus two, thanks to the Warsong Battle Drums. Level four as well. And now he's maneuvering into... Oh, wait. Into an attacking position while building towers in the main. One tower finishes. That's not going to be enough to stop the whole army, of course. The Orc army. I mean, Shockwave comes through. Chain Lightning. Oh, and it's good damage against the peasants again. A couple of wolves back there in the gold mine could perhaps take them all out. Sending in the grunt, would love to see a lightning shield there as well. In the meantime, we have an attack by Dirtbag towards the orc expansion, stopping mining here. But he will have to TP home sooner or later. Yeah, and there was a couple of peons killed, but not nearly enough to make up for the damage that Soen did to his base. A grunt is lost and left behind, but it's only three workers remaining for Dirtbag. And again, the ground is trying to buy as much time as he can. The human army oftentimes has this issue. Doesn't have move speed bonus. It's just simply a lot less mobile than other armies tend to be. But what happened to the human army is better than your army. Yeah, it can be very strong if it's fighting a static fight. But uh, moving across the map can be difficult indeed. There was more experience, of course, as well from the peasants. Almost double level four. With double level four, maybe Soen is finally going to take that fight to save the expo. As Dirtbag is again moving south, looking for the attack. He's going to have to buy another TP to be able to come home in case of an attack. But he needs uh, 150 more gold. A little less, I guess. Gets that with creeping. But this is so in, in a lame mode, in a war of attrition, with two bases. And he's coming at it again. Ah, nasty. Flute of accuracy. Oh, man, in a straight-up fight, these items would be so good. But there's never going to be a straight-up fight, is there? Oh, he might just go for the main building right now. He's got lots of raiders. Chain wave! Oh, oh, oh the triple kill. <laughs> I can understand if Dirtbag is a bit frustrated here. Playing against this lame is very annoying, but Soen is you know, doing it well. He's got the game plan worked out. Is he going to commit to this kill now? He doesn't have to, but if he gets the keep, the game is, of course, over. But the damage is also dwindling for him. Next train lightning comes in. Oh, this is a miscalculation. Doesn't seem to be. The damage is enough. Someone paid attention in class when uh, destroying keeps was on the plan. And now two bases versus zero. Probably one last all-in by Dirtbag. 
Give your opponent a fight. Ready up. Oh, invo potion um, to be safe from creeps and critters. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all you ever get. 240 gold. Maybe well, not spending it in items. But yeah, that's the last hurrah for dirtbag on map one. So in as... Dodge pretty much every fight this game, but now he's gonna take it now that he's in a good position. Smart tactical play. Not the most flashy by Sowin, but it's not about being flashy, it's about winning! And he's about wow. to do that with the chain lightning. He's gonna get the kill on the Archmage, and he's gonna follow in the footsteps of the great Charlie Sheen with getting the first 1 0 here, it would seem. GG. GG indeed! Dirtbag able to hold his ground. But the early game just, just, just destroyed him. These last hits by Soen, so well done. No real chance, unfortunately, for Dirtbag there. But if he has a cleaner early game, I can totally see him being competitive here. Absolutely. All right, Dirtbag is messaging me. What's he saying? I don't know. I'm not uh, peeking into your DMs. Concerned face at Mr. Remo Demo. Alright, Dirtbag earlier today was testing the ping and apparently there it uh, worked out better. So we're gonna try if that maybe makes a difference. Perhaps not, but certainly shouldn't do any harm. Alright. So... There we go. Wait. Have you also been getting a lot of error messages when closing the game? Uh, technology for a functioning game is uh, rough to create. Um, you know, we had this patch uh, on Wednesday, and not all things are great. Was I kicked? Was I kicked out of the game? Yeah, he's rehosting. Ah, okay. What happened to no more lames? How is this first game here? Shockwave, chain lightning, raider, attacks. <laughs> yeah, uh, Starbucks influence not extending towards the Asia Pacific region, apparently. Let's see if that's tomorrow is going to be a different story when Starbucks faces X-Lord. <sighs> this is the most yeah. anticipated match in a while, right? A little banter yeah, so between too. the two, two top players, best of five. Yeah, I also think that's going to be a good one. And a lot of motivation, I imagine, in Starbucks, you know, belly to try to get his revenge there. All right, Northern Isles is our second map. And I guess we're ready to kick things off. Long day ahead, of course, as we have four matches here in Asia, Oceania. We have uh, a couple of matches in Europe as well. Plus then the Americas region later today. But first, we got match points for Soen. If he wins here now, he's facing Chemico next for the lower bracket decider match. Can Dirtbag fight back? He's gonna need to clean up his early game. We've seen that before in the very early stages when he's getting pressured by Wolves, Farseer and Headhunters. He takes a bit too much damage, and then he's on the back foot, and everything becomes so hard, as it always is the case against headhunters. It's easy to fall behind. I acknowledge that. I'm not saying it's easy not to take that damage, but he really has to try to make sure every little micro move is on point to minimize that damage and go into the mid-game in a better position. If you manage to get a decently strong MK and rifle army in the mid-game, and you're not behind, this matchup looks much more playable. But you have to be able to... Uh, Fend off that aggression from the orc and get out of the early game somewhat unscathed. So here we go. Last chance for Dirtbag to stay in this tournament to win a map. He brought us so much joy in the open qualifier where he steamrolled over everyone in the Oceania, Oceania region. But the Koreans, man, they're good gamers. It's a nation of good gamers over there. They certainly are. I think when they 
when Koreans grow up, you know, like uh, when when babies are born here in Germany or whatever, wherever in Europe, you know, you're going to be put in your crib and then above the crib, there's this little ensemble of toys and stuff. Mm -hmm. And normally it's like planets or, you know, animals or sea life, you know, like seahorses or something. Maybe for the Koreans, it's like, you know, action figures like Starcraft Marine <laughs> or uh, AK-47 for Counter-Strike or... Uh, <laughs> Or those champions in League of Legends called uh, Darius and stuff, and then they Pre get indoctrinated. Pretty, pretty sure they have mouse and keyboard in the womb already. <laughs> That's why they have a little jump start on everyone. Is, is that the navel connection <laughs> from the kid to the <laughs> yeah, mother? Yeah, it's, it's the mouse cord. <laughs> I guess so. Oh my god, what, what are they gonna do when they uh, move towards? Uh, cordless appliances. They definitely like, should, right? They could get some Corsair gear for that if you want to cut the cord of mice and keyboard. Check out core.sr slash back to Warcraft, everybody. Hell yeah. They got a new gaming laptop as well. If you guys are in the shopping mood for a new gaming laptop. You know, I've never had a gaming laptop yet. I just have a cheap, old, super basic laptop where you can do like spreadsheets and Word and that's kind of it. But a gaming laptop, that's not, that's not bad, actually. When you're I'd on love a train, that. When you're traveling or something, when you have to visit the goddamn relatives again, you know how it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Laptop with you. I know how that is. So far, it's a cleaner early game, as we talked about. Zero experience on the Farseer. Level 2 for the Archmage. So Dirtbag, definitely improving. Yeah, the one item was stolen, but it's only a sleepers. <clears throat> it's not that terrible. Farseer puts on the socks. Understandable in this weather. You know, uh, in, in the summer months, as you know all too well, I uh, I hardly ever wear any socks because mm. uh, it's too hot in here. It's too hot. I, I did the laundry today and I noticed not a single <laughs> pair of socks was in there. It's that's crazy, isn't it? super nice because that's the thing I hate most about laundry. Damn, finding the oh, pairs yeah. of socks. Hate Dude, it. I re I refuse to put them together. I just have one big box where I throw them all in. And then when I need socks, I'm like, yeah, this is good enough. I, I can sounds, find my way around this. That sounds like you. Yeah, I, I mean, most of them are fairly uniform anyways. Like uh, back Black. in the Dizay, I used to, have, used to have lots of different pairs of socks. And I was like, this is stupid. I'm just going to buy like, you know, like 30 black ones, 30 gray ones. That has to be good enough. <laughs> At least uh, very every every now and then. I remember how you freaked out when I wore socks uh, the wrong way with the inside out. Oh boy! Yeah, oh boy. I mean, it's crazy. Mr. Why Demo the Man you did not like out? that. I mean, you wouldn't wear a shirt or a jacket inside out. Like, why are you doing it with the socks? Because are you nobody wearing your sees underwear it. inside out. Oh, maybe I'm not wearing underwear at all. Oh. That's why we only see your upper body. Hoggies. <laughs> Sub to our Patreon for lower body shots. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, far. Oh, and snares. Dude, what's up with these Murlocs recently? They just uh, have an agenda to ruin the day of some players. Good deny, though. Prevents the experience on the Farseer. Archmage took some damage, but he found the replenishment potion. Isn't that a wonderful item? Pop the replenish, heal up nice and easy. Good stuff. Yeah, both found one. Fastia will make it to level two, where Mr. Dirtbag is for a while. Rifle production starts. Mountain King, of course, weapon of choice. No big alternating here for Soen. Still the TC, still Raider, Shaman. But will he play the lames again? I feel like on this map it's not that good because the expansion is always closer to your opponents, way easier for Dirtbag to move towards the natural, cancel the expo, and with that playstyle you need an expansion. So I'd expect more straight up stuff here. You know, with the double slippers, I would definitely go tier 3 Shadow Hunter and put the slippers <laughs> on the Shadow. Hell yeah. Dude, these water elementals, Dirtbag is getting some work done. Lodge delayed for quite a bit. The question is, uh, can he get out? Oh, little trap set up. That's a TP. Yeah, exactly. This cost him the TP. And that can be quite painful. It's going to be very dangerous now to go out on the map, especially once we have Stomp and Raiders. If it will be Stomp, which uh, I am assuming. Oh, the footies. What are they Ooh. doing here? 
Little footman. Didn't get the memo. Didn't update Might actually make it out there. their navigation system. That's also decent distraction, I feel. TC is not leveling. So and moved back with the entire army. Not creeping a lap or something valuable in the middle. Not that bad. Yeah, TC really taking a sweet time here to level up. I guess in Concealed Hill it's not easy to get that level 3 TC. Especially with that natural giving so much experience. And, you know, merchant creep and all that. The big creeps in the middle are still up for grabs. And this might be something that Dirtbag can fight for. Especially with the help of Militia, you can be pretty uh, pretty resilient there in the middle of the map. But not having that TP is always dangerous. Do you have the guts to move out or are you going to play it more safe? Well, with a mana potion, he definitely is showing some guts here. TC still undecided if it's Storm for Shockwave. He did reveal a little bit. Pillage researched. This might very well be Shockwave Lamo again. Oh wow, he's doing it again. Okay, Peon not even moving out yet towards the natural. Oh, who got the items? Invuln on Dirtbag. I think that was very important. Especially considering he doesn't have that TP anymore. Yeah. But heal scroll on the orc side. Farseer already level 3. And that's what the orcs love to do. Creep heavily after harassing early, get the double level three and take a very convincing fight with the first heal scroll plus level threes and expand behind it. That is basically the orc playbook that we've seen followed so many times over. And the first encounter might happen now at the Warlord. No level three for dirt back, but he's so close again. One steal on the Mountain King is all it takes. We do have it confirmed, shockwave it is. Not the greatest items for Soin. No involve, just a heal scroll. Mana went also not the best. This big mana potion needs to do some heavy lifting. And the militia need to be called right now. Shockwave coming in, one priest taken out, but also some more experience for the MK. He's now level three, Ooh. but the priests are gone. No sustain in this human army anymore. And we have no shaman, by the way. Still no shaman, oh, thanks to that earlier cancel. Chain lightning level two is doing some work. Ooh. So is shockwave, AOE damage all over the place as we got clap in the mix as well. Dirtbag fighting for survival, but it looks like Soin has the upper hand for now. Mana potion popped, and that's big damage done. Stonebolt uses as well. He wants to find these kills now. Certainly gonna get one more, at least, of these headhunters. MK gonna fall back. One of mana ceiling could still be used on the TC. Kind of forgot about that, I think. Farsi in trouble. Stormbolt oh. finds him. Needs to use the TP. And he does. Rifleman. Oh. oh, the last hit again. Same as on concealed. So in, bruised, but not beaten. Dirtbag has to rebuild half of his army, I guess. And the mana potion is gone too. I feel like four... Using the mana potion, this wasn't enough kills. Archmage still level 2.6. At least there's no expansion yet. But it's going to be a tough game from here on out. Yeah, so and also scanned the uh, marketplace so he sees that the creep is still available. And what do we have from the merchant? The important items here. Heal score it is. And he's got a good amount of raiders now. He's got the pillage. And it's time to hit the main base. Oh boy. Workshop coming for Dirtbag. Interesting choice. But I guess that plan, yep, has to be cancelled. Base build, this time a little better, I guess, but uh, farms, some casters deem them totally imbalanced. And once again, it shows. So hard to take down these farms. Yeah, I mean, six supply, only 60 gold, that's crazy. Yeah, and their scouting abilities and everything, right? Shockwave, Chain Lightning doesn't hit too much thanks to the illusions. That was a nice play. But again, Soin just goes for the priests and annihilates them, basically. Mountain King has no mana. What do you do without mana? Oh, money, Chain Wave. So many oh targets, everything in the deep red. And Archmage yeah. is not looking too healthy anyway. Invo Potion, seven seconds. And then this might be game set and match. But he's just playing battle build with chain wave. On this yeah. time he didn't even lame really. Pretty cool. Archmage in trouble now. Focused, ensnared, ensnared again. Right clicks, chain lightning would be enough. Another ensnare. How many ensnares does he have? <laughs> Endless nets, and that is the kill. Seems like that should be the game. MK 
No mana region anymore. Doesn't have the Stormbolt ready. And this might be the end for Dirtbag. Yeah, he shows he can hang with the Koreans. And this time, or this uh, week was even a little better than last week. But unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Dirt back in this double limb mode. You can't lose two matches, otherwise you're out. So in, advance to the next round is now facing Chemico. Yes, sir. Same matchup for Chemico, probably a tougher opponent there. Chemico, in fact, known for being really good against Orc. And he just had a little bit of information as to what to expect. This chain wave pillage stuff wouldn't come as a surprise next time. So maybe it's time for So and then to also switch it up. And that's gonna be a big game, man. Very interesting, very high level best of three coming our way next. Yeah, this is uh, as good as it gets almost in Korea. We have one more player from the o Oceania region afterwards. That is, of course, Say So in a match versus Thunder. Let's see if the ANZ region can take a win there. Dirtbag, I really hope you stay in the scene and you stay in the competitive environment because uh, you're a promising talent, my friend. Let's hope. I, I want to see more from you. Not only ladder, also tournaments. Hopefully, there's something coming for Oceania. Now, Mr. Remo Demo, we uh, contact Chemico and see if he's ready. And then we have a game. Who makes it into the decider tomorrow? against the winner of the lower part of the lower bracket. We talked about this gaming laptop by Corsair already. It's their very, very first gaming laptop powered with AMD. And uh, I show you what's inside. 